Well, hello once again everybody. It's Jingles Roscoe here with another speed drawing. Uh, today I decided to draw Joseph Joestar from JoJo's, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 2, Battle Tendency. And uh, as a very special treat, I got my good buddy and roommate Josh here to join me on this. Hello everyone. So, first of all, I'd, I'd like to apologize to all the viewers because once again, I, I took a, a little bit of a hiatus. Well, took a little bit of a break, a little, little downtime, a little, little something. Um, yeah, I said that I wanted to get like one of these done every week, and uh, I haven't. Uh, <laughs> there's been a lot of life stuff happening, um, and uh, I just haven't been getting around to it. Oh, really quick. Um, some other people that have been watching my videos have asked me why uh, I just skip forward after I already have, like, kind of a, a base of the character done already. And I said I just kind of like to have something ready, so if it doesn't look good at first, I'll just start over and I don't waste, like, recording anything. But this time I decided to show you the entire, like, building process that I start with before this is about where I'd start. Um, showing off the recording is when I'm actually doing something. Anyway, back to my confessions of, of me. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I just, a lot of stuff has been happening. And uh, this is, I haven't been able to, to get around to drawing. I've been kind of feeling down about some stuff. Life's been happening. Uh, it's nothing like super serious or anything, but I just... I just haven't been filling up to it, and I've been also very busy. So the combination of those two things have kept me from getting back into drawing again. But um, today I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get going. And uh, uh, this is a thing that I've been meaning to get around to doing, which is drawing Joseph Joestar um, for my friend Josh, his birthday, which was like. Four months ago? It's alright, you're just in time for my second birthday. That's right, I'm getting around to the next birthday. <laughs> that birthday number two. Birthday the second. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I just, like, I just haven't been getting around to it. And so, I decided that the very next thing to draw would be Joseph Joestar. Because I've been kind of wanting to draw him anyway. And young Joseph. Speaking of which, I noticed that you decided that you wanted me, you preferred me to draw young Joseph over old Joseph from part three. Um, is there any reason in particular why you why you wanted that? So it was actually it was actually kind of a hard decision when I was thinking about it because mm. I I do love old Joseph. His personality ages like a fine wine. Absolutely. <laughs> but uh, I think some of it is just because um, there are bits of battle tendency that I think I preferred over. Uh, Stardust Crusaders in some ways. I really like uh, young Joseph's personality mm -hmm. and just kind of the way he goes through the story in his, char in his character development. Right. And plus, I think his design is also just a little bit more dynamic and a lot more interesting. <laughs> I, do, I agree. Like, Joseph, as he got old, I feel like his outfits got less crazy and flamboyant and stuff. They became more subdued, which is fine for his character, but... Um, from a character creation standpoint, it's just kind of a little, little bit boring to look at. Uh, you'll notice here that I resized my canvas and made it a lot bigger and then resized Joseph to be a lot bigger. Um, I was working on a smaller canvas size and um, I thought it would be fine because it's the one that I, I do every so often. Uh, but like all of my pens like were too big. Uh, when I was drawing on there. And so I was just like, ah, I gotta... And so I, I, I almost completely doubled the size of the the thing, and I feel like my lines became more reasonable. Was it far <laughs> too large for your purposes? It was far too large for my purposes. I'm not going over there at all. <laughs> and so, yeah, resizing it made, the, it made it look a lot better. And when I started the inking process, um, made it a lot easier, too. Um, so... You know, I don't know if you can tell, but um, I've kind of split up the speeds of the speed drawing 
this time. Um, I was I've been watching other speed drawing peoples, speed drawers, speed artists, eh. and um, one of them in particular, the one I really admire for her artistic abilities, is drawing with waffles. Um, and she she I don't know how, but she always sounds fun and interesting in all of her like recordings. And I'm just like, you don't sound like tired or annoyed or anything out of you. And anyway, what is your secret? What is your secret? <laughs> Tell me, Waffles. And um, so, yeah, I just um, anyway, <laughs> a lot of the techniques that I've picked up in my own speed drawings uh, have been stuff that I've learned from watching her. And um, one of the things um, is just increasing the canvas size if you need to, to give yourself more space. Um, <clears> there <throat> was something else, but it slipped my mind. I'm sure it'll come back to me. But a lot of stuff that she does, I've, I've kind of picked up. I don't know if there's anybody that watches her and also watches me, um, but you could probably see that there, there are a couple of things that I've just done. Um, another funny thing about this is, uh, so for the last few speed drawings, like my female to male ratio of characters that I've been drawing has been like 80% female. <laughs> Time to even that up a little Time bit. Time to even that up a little bit. But it's funny because um, I, I've i always been the kind of guy that grew up like, I was told you got to respect women, you know? Absolutely. And like, so I, I don't like drawing um, women like too sexualized. I don't mind if a woman's beautiful and I like drawing beautiful women. Um, but an overly sexualized woman, I just, I don't care for. Kind of, uh, kind of just fine tasteless. Yeah, a little bit. Right here, um, I decided partway through here during my inking process, I decided to make two separate, uh, inking layers. One of them for just the general lines. And, uh, I made another one called Deets, which is short for details. <laughs> um, and so... I've made all of those little detail lines, like on his lips and his eyelashes and under his chin there. There'll be a few other places, but I've made that on a separate layer so that when I go to use the uh, magic wand tool to select areas to color, like the little lines won't get in the way for it. And it's it super helpful <laughs> when inking it. Um, later on, I have slowed down. Oh. I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do with these eyebrows. You can see I'm hatching over. When I made them horizontal, I was like, oh, that looks so much better. <laughs> and so I was happy with that. Anyway. That yeah, looks quite nice. <laughs> Later on, I'll show you like the difference between just the regular line work and then the line work with the little details that I added on there. You give me, so, the, you give me the deets later. I'll give you the deets later. <laughs> Check with Sheldon for the deets. Um, and I'm very proud of it. Uh, I, I, honestly, I think this is probably one of my best speed drawings that I've done so far. You look like you had a lot of fun with it. I had a ton of fun with it. Um, and uh, it's funny because um, my little brother Smiter is kind of pounding me that a lot of my, the characters in a lot of my speed drawings, they look really stiff. Like they got a pose, but it's not much of a pose. It's just kind of they're standing there kind of stiff. Um, so I decided that I wanted to draw my characters in more dynamic poses. Um, and then it was funny that my next drawing that I happened to do is Joseph Joestar. Dynamic poses, you say? Dynamic poses, you say? <laughs> so I was like, oh, this is going to work out good. Also, I drew fingernails on his fingers. I which see that. I don't normally draw fingernails. And so I was like, but I was looking at all the character art and stuff like that and the reference images. And I was like, oh, he's got fingernails on all of them. They're all drawn in. So I was like, I'll do that. And uh, back to respecting women and drawing them in conservative kind of poses. Um, <clears throat> I'd been doing that. And then, um, <laughs> then I get to Joseph here and I get him in a really flamboyant and like <laughs> I would say overly sexy pose uh, just, just, just a tad it's just, just a uh, little like his exposed navel and that, his, uh, all his 
that rip. like apple like booty <laughs> yeah exactly um so there was a thing going around for a while and a lot of in a lot of american comics and uh people were complaining about it a lot and it's that they were drawing and i'm, I'm going to show an example on the screen i'll put it in in post um they were drawing a lot of the female characters in this pose where they had their like bodies twisted around so that you get a you can see their breasts but also their butt <laughs> and so they were twisted in such mm. a way i think i see the problem here <laughs> and and then so and then i did it on joseph here you gave him a front butt i, I gave him well i gave him so yeah you can see his butt and yeah. you can also see like his rippling muscles and whatnot yeah. um and the pose, I just, I thought that this pose was going to, was going to be good and f good for my purposes. And then I, I had forgotten that, um, so Smider, uh, was pointing out that, well, one of the things that I've been liking to do lately is, um, is say your, your next line is, um, but I've been doing the Japanese version, which is Sugimi Yamaiwa, and then the phrase, and then Toyu, and, uh, <laughs> this just happens to be a pose where he's obviously going Sugini Omaiwa and then whatever and then Toyu and, so. and someone off screen is going Nani? Nani? <laughs> so thinking of the pose uh, yeah. that pose specifically did, was that pulled from like a, a manga panel at any point or is it just kind of something you came up with? It's, uh, it's something that I, I put together there's similar poses to it I was thinking about some other poses that I could have done, but um, I decided not to. And uh, I like, I, I'm a big fan of foreshortening and I like to put it in stuff whenever I can. And foreshortening, if you're not familiar with the phrase itself, is when you draw something in the foreground bigger so that you can tell that it's closer to the viewer. And in this case, his hand is much, it's much larger than his other hand because it's closer to you. And um, I've done that with a few other characters. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, the, I'm showing you with the this is with the details on, and then I come over here and I turn the details off. Um, in a second. Oh, I skipped it. <laughs> sorry. You'll have to go back and check it out. You'll have to see later Sheldon thing. later. <laughs> you'll have to see Sheldon later for the deets. Um, and now I'm I'm in the coloring phases, which I've sped up to a lot faster than the sketching phases, because. Um, which is the thing that I learned from drawing with waffles is um, people kind of like seeing the sketching and the inking like parts of a drawing and then um, the coloring is kind of simple you just eyedropper an area and then throw the, the color in that spot and then just move on at least that's I do it in a very fast very lazy way <laughs> But it, it, it suits my purposes for now. And um, it gets the job done. It gets the job done. So uh, thinking uh, on the subject of JoJo in general, yes. uh, how do you feel about Battle Tennessee? Like, where do, you, where do you feel like it stacks up with you, given where we're at right. in the anime now? So um, for anybody that doesn't know, we're still getting through part four. Uh, we watched part one, part two. We skipped part three because we know part three really well and we read the manga, like, a lot. And so, um, we're gonna go back to it. Don't... Part three will happen. Yeah, don't look at us like that, alright? We're gonna get back to it. Just give us a second, alright? But, uh, we've been told that part four is really, really good. I haven't read part four. Um, I've only read part two and three. And then I watched, um part one the anime and then part two um and so we're we're i think we're getting pretty close to the end of part it four. feels like it It feels like big things are happening and, and uh, man things are happening and uh i think battle tendency has a very special place in my heart um i at the moment part three is probably number one followed i think very closely with part four yeah. but i can't say that yet because we haven't finished it yet um, it, if it finishes on a very satisfying way, I'd probably put it up there really yeah. high. It's been very um, good so far. But I, I do really love Battle Tendency. Um, I love the Joseph's character. Um, and I love, like, the villains. I love... Oh, here, I'm going to show you here at the very end. Um, how I, I draw outside of the, the line. Anyway, 
battle tendencies up there. Sorry. Um, <laughs> and then I fill it up, and then you can see that it's gone out of the lines a little bit. Um, so what I do is I come over here, and uh, I click on this layer, and then I click Clipping Group, and it cuts out all the stuff that isn't part of the colors layer. Um, and then I'll go over to the Mode section. This is a layer mode. I click on it, and I select Multiply, and that just makes it... It's a, it's a weird mode thing. And then I drop the opacity, and it just kind of creates the perfect shading for my purposes. And all this time, I thought it was just magic. It's, it's kind of magic, too. But, um, yeah, that's kind of how I, I do my shading. I do very everything very lazy if I can get away with it. <laughs> anyway, there's the, the finished image there. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with how it turned out, I think. Um, it's definitely one of my better speed drawings. Yeah, it looks really good. Um, I like that. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, but thank you all for watching. I didn't mention it before, but since I've been taking a long time doing these things and putting out new videos, it's going to be my New Year's resolution to try and get them out more often. My resolution is one every two weeks. Um, I'd like to do it more often than that, but I think realistically I'm going to try and go for one every two weeks. Um, yeah, that weird business with the Pillar Man kind of held you back for a while. A little bit. <laughs> but uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, Josh, what's your uh, final verdict on this on this drawing? Uh, I, it looks really good. The pose actually looks very faithful to the art style in general. That that pose looks like it could have come out of just a manga panel. Mm. That with just the kind of inhuman way he's kind of bent around. Right. <laughs> it's, it's definitely nuts. Yeah, it's it, it looked like you had a lot of fun with it. I sure did. But uh, thank you very much for joining me on uh, on this one. Uh, hopefully we can do it again sometime. Hopefully, yeah. Um, and so thank you all for watching. And thank you for staring at Joseph there for <laughs> like a minute and a half. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to hope to get another speed drawing here pretty quickly. I have some ideas for the new year, so I should be hopefully getting some more in there, maybe. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good one.